I'm going to do an opening. No. More gifts for Isa. Ooh, I'm a destroyer now. I'm Godzilla. And yeah, those guys are just hard fucked. That's cool. I dig it when like elves get hard fucked. It's fun to watch. Okay, untainted. Uh, oh, I can now upgrade this. Upkeep minus 10% for all units. That is useful. Okay, and then my army. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to recruit anything else for the moment. Yeah, all right. And then Mr. Field Trip himself. Who is this? Is this actually Tic-Tac-Toe? Nah, it's some... What the? What, what are you? Sobless. Oh, you're you're a Scar veteran. Okay. Okay. And the new research. Uh, rune recovery time. That's not super useful. Oh, missile resistance. That's fucking strong. Let's do that. Alrighty, and then unassigned skill points! Yay, skill points! Uh, what do I want to do? Uh, let's... Sure. Put some weapon strength in there. Uh, oh, and my little buddy got some skill points! Uh, comet... Earthling? Earthling and magic reserves are both real strong. Whenever you cast a spell, there is a chance to miscast and, like, take damage. It's hard to notice in this game way more like it's way more in your face on the tabletop where you're actually like rolling the dice and doing everything by hand but in in the chaos of a battle in this it's real easy not to notice a miscast but those can be devastating especially if you're like casting real close to the front lines oh and the skaven are up to some shit i should go murder the fuck out of them because they're assholes like, look at look at that far cast Look at that fart gas shooting up from the the jungle's asshole. They're bringing chaos in here? Alright, yeah, let them charge headlong. That's fine. Okay. Ooh, that is real time. I do need to get back on the water. So yeah, we're gonna go for that. We're gonna go for it. Okay. Oh cool, it's one of the ones I just need to touch. Uh, cool. Cool, they now move faster, and I got some money. Go up here. All right, all right. Hero not move. Cool. Go ahead and keep looping around here. Looks like uh, Tanawin is doing very well for himself. I would very much like him to go deal with this nonsense, but he seems to be doing well for himself. Oh, yeah, he's doing pretty well. Cool. Hey, Tehanowin. 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 Let's be friends. Let's be friends. Okay. Uh, hey, Teclas. Are you still a bitch? You're still a bitch. Cool. Good talk. Alright. Cool. Uh, research? Oh, damn, that just instant cast. Okay. Oh, because it costs favor of old ones. Um... What does this do? Uh, but does it open up this? And that's just recruitment ranks. That's not super interesting. Uh, Stegador, Carnosaur, Dressauter, and Cold Ones. And then all that goes for Temple Gord, Crook Scores. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do this one up here now. All right, and then what are our rights? Uh, Croxcore Ancient. Wait, is Croxcore Ancient a new general type? Is that what I saw down there? Because that didn't look like a Saurus. Uh, Recruit Lord. Yeah, Croxcore Ancient is a new general type. That's awesome. I'm cool with that. All right. Cult of Sotek is doing things, hopefully getting shit done. Nagarod is far away and therefore not my problem. Clan Pestilence is a bitch. There's a lot of these. 
these assholes. I should go... Should go deal with these guys. Can I land here? No. So I guess I'm going to continue, like, north. Find a place to land up here. Up, assholes. Hey. Not possible. Ooh. Ooh, I think you're the No, you're just some random asshole again. Um, but you do have real strong army. Like real strong. Okay. That might be a problem. Could be a problem. Potentially a problem. We will see how much of a problem it can be. Uh, time to find out how much of a problem it is to just be like, sup, hey, how's it going? Uh, can I switch to... I can. Cool. Alright, um... What can I build? Nothing useful at the moment. Uh, ooh, but I can't upgrade that soon. And get ancient salamanders. Ancient salamanders are so fucking boss. They're like artillery unit monsters. They're so strong. Okay. Let's see what the Hummins are going to do. Because that is the big question. Yep. They want to fortify the pyramids. That's fine. I think we are just going to leave that alone for the time being. So, a roving army has decided to declare war on me. Uh, and then immediately die. Awesome. Good talk. Okay, can I just leave? Not really an option. Okay. So, what we are going to do... Hmm... Hmm... Out of range for them to support, but that's still... Like, can I see their I full can't. army stack? That's still pretty strong. Like, I don't want to fuck with that right now. So we're going to back off. We're going to back the fuck off. And that's the capital, so I can't really take that quickly. So we're just going to... We're just going to go this way. We're going to leave those guys alone, because those guys are kind of badasses. Um... Yeah, that's, that's a distance to go. That's annoying. That's annoying, but we're going to play it safe. Because I don't want to lose uh, the Nakai army, because that would be real bad. That would be super strong bad. All right. Uh, hero not moved. Let's go ahead and... Oh, cool. Now we can start heading north. Okay. So we have now sailed around the cape. Now we need to go up. Basically Africa? Southern Straits of the Great Ocean. We're just gonna have to cross the open ocean now, I guess. Lame. And this gave him the only one doing poop project? <sighs> Lame. We'll have to go down there and deal with that. Uh, yeah, these orcs are just dicks. Cool. Alright. Let's see what the humans do this time. We did kill one of the clans, which is nice. Or someone killed one of the clans. Ah, boo! Who killed them? Ah, it was the orcs that did it. All right, these orcs need to die. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, they're goodies. I'll just grab these while I'm here. Uh, yeah. Cool. All right. I got a charm. That's neat, I guess. All right. Let's get back over to the Wellspring of Eternity. 
Mmm. That's a lot of skeeving over here by Quetzal. Uh, okay. Probably going to lose that settlement. So it looks like I'm going to go down here and we'll deal with this asshole first. Because that looks like the main fortification of them. Is that actually their capital? No. No, which means their capital's over here. Which means I was a dumbass and went for their capital first. Wow, that was dumb. Okay. Continue to head. And then new research. Uh, recruitment cost down 10%. Seems nice. Alright. Alrighty. Continue our long stretch of no battle turns. I mean, that, that does kind of reflect real life. Like, if you look at ancient warfare, like, anything predating, like, the Napoleonic Wars, I want to say, most wars didn't have a hell of a lot of battles. Like, nothing really decisive. Ooh. Yeah, I'll pay you 100 gold for a non-aggression pack. That's cool. We'll do that. So you'd have these long stretches of, like, nothing super exciting happening. All right, commit to the research. Yeah, I'm not doing anything with money right now. Okay. Huh. Kind of went in a dumb direction there. All right, let's 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 make it back to land. All right, back onto land. Can I upgrade anything? No, not really. Cool, good, tall. Alrighty. Yeah. So, up here, this is where the vamp- Oh, yeah. It just fucking says on the map, the Vampire Coast. Durr. Alright. Alright, and that's another turn of not a lot happening. Cool. Who is the other person doing rituals? Because I saw two chaos factions there. When you're playing as one of the normal factions, like one of the... any of the default factions, you're due... You have your own little resource that certain settlements give you that incentivizes you to go take those settlements. Oh, hey. What are you up to? Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll do non-aggression with you. That's fine. Um, so, it incentivizes you to go take certain settlements. And once you amass enough of it, you can start to perform a ritual where it's like, hey, these cities don't let them fall. And uh, a bunch of chaos armies will spawn. Or chaos and Skaven if you're playing as uh, either high elves or, or lizardmen. I don't know if the Skaven spawn for the dark elves. They could. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Alrighty. And. Okay. Yeah. Just wander through the jungle. Nakai the Wanderer. Okay, wait, wait. Oh cool, they fought off the rebellion. Good. I can wow, I can really just leave these guys to their own devices. That's fine. That's awesome. Alrighty. So we're gonna go up there and say hi. Lot of not a hell of a lot going on, isn't there, boys and girls? I mean, sometimes the sometimes there's long stretches of the game where it's just like get yourself in position. And since I can leave the the defenders of the great plan kind of to their own devices, I can just go off and do whatever. So which is nice. Okay. Normal pace. What do we got here? No. Yeah, just a bunch of normal orcs. Just a lot of them. That's fine. Uh, what can I recruit? Do I have any regiments? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know what? Give me a pair of salamanders. That'll be fun. 
we're still just trucking, trucking along. Oh, is that the Maelstrom? No, I think that's where like the final fight for the the Vampire Coast happens. Like you go fight this giant lizard thing underwater. You really don't fight them. You fight. Uh, I think the first thing you fight is a dark elf army, and then you fight a whole bunch of uh, Vampire Coast units that come in in waves. And that fight's really easily manageable as long as you don't let the... Oh, fuck, wits. Um, that fight's really manageable as long as you don't let a lot of the, the Suicide Bomber units like get up in your grill. Ah, butt waffles. Okay, that lightning strike seems real strong right about now. Okay. Okay. Nikai. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So. That was a lot of orcs to deal with right now. I think. It's smarter to head south. I know it's a lot of me pussing out, but fuck you. Move the orcs to their own devices and we'll head south to kill him. Because I think he is one of the guys we need to murder. No, he's over here. Damn it. Thank Damn it. Thank oh, that's, that's like the legendary lord. That's the boss. Okay. And then continue your field trip, little buddy. Heading up to where Araby may eventually be. Who knows? No one thought Vampire Coast was going to be a faction. So fuck it, who knows what they're going to do. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see, yeah. Uh, do I want to go over the mountain and head south? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over the mountains. Go pass over the monument. Come in from the north, say hi. Touch their goodies. Oh, there's something not coming from behind that really pleases me with this army. The Hunt Marshal's Expedition. Sacrifice them to the sun. Caught a bunch of rat people. Of course I'm gonna sacrifice them. What are you not gonna sacrifice rat people? Oh, I lost my city. Boo. Boo. Alright, well I guess I need to go down here and murder some people then. Seems legit. It didn't last as long as I was hoping. Oh, and look at that. It's a dwarf boat. Neat. Neat. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, right. I, I can do this screen. I forgot about this screen entirely. Uh, so I have 300. Sacred spawnings can see through my units. Uh, recruitment cross for croc scores, ten percent less. Weapon strength plus for croc scores. Cool. Seems like a solid plan for my game plan. When I finally make contact with the enemy. Clam Pestilence. I think I need to go murder them. I think I need to go kill some rat people. I think that is a current plan. I don't understand why every faction has to deal with the NPC pirates. 
Like, they're a big part if you're playing Vampire Coast, but if you're not playing Vampire Coast, there's a lot of, like, why are they in here? Oh, hey, rats. It's Icket! It's Icket Claw! Which means that's probably one of his territories. More now, now. Uh, how big is his army? Nine. Not nearly strong enough to take any of my places, so I don't have to worry about him right now. It gets ridiculous. He gets fucking nukes. Uh, post bout loot, magic item chance, or building. Yeah. I have the sequence of looting. That seems hilarious. <laughs> We come around the mountain to take back the city you fuckers stole from us. Oh. What the? Okay, sh sure. Run the other side of the goddamn ocean, but I'll sign a non aggression pack with you. Ark in the Black is specifically a dick, but whatever. It's like, cool, I, I won't fight you, that's fine. You you go have Skella Bros with Nikesh, I don't care. Oh, the neck arcs are falling apart, that's funny. Okay, sure, whatever. Like, you, you, you do you, Undead, I don't care. Uh, no, we are not going to use the magic. Time to... nope. Can't see. Okay. Move up just a bit. Yep, his army is in fact there. Okay. Don't see a lot of elites in that army. More training. Alrighty. Then, yeah, continue north. Just keep on trucking. I think we're gonna encounter. No, uh, up oh, there's one of the pirates, and there's a uh, there's Nagesh, not Nagesh, Ark on the Black, who's Nagesh's bitch boy, bitch boy skeleton. All right, Order of Lore Masters are fighting the Clan Pestilence. That's fun. And the Blessed Dread. Well, that's fine, whatever. Alright, let's see what this idiot's gonna do. <gasps> Nothing. Cool. Good talk. I'm gonna try and ruin his day. I think that's... What do you got? I don't see anything super strong in there. So, I think we're gonna go up and say hi. Yeah, it's mostly mostly jobbers. I mean, my army is mostly jobbers too. But shh, shh, don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, it doesn't even matter. Okay, what we got uh, all regions attrition to the enemies. That's whatever. Okay, okay. And then my little hero. All right. Alrighty. Continue going north. We'll say hi to the high elves. On our way to our final destination, this, this little island up here. Still having fun on his grand little adventure. Okay. Now let's see if he attacks me. Is he attacking me or am I attacking him? I'll have a slight advantage if he decides to attack me. That means his reinforcements will be split. And no. Okay. Good talk. Oh, I think he's also mustering troops. So there's that. There is the fact that he is mustering troops, and he is no longer mustering troops. He has his troops. It's gonna be twenty-six to twenty. 
Alright. Is it really helping it? So we're gonna do it. Uh, so what does he got? Three units of great swords. Archers. Which don't look that good. Huntsmen. Anti large. Fire while moving. I don't like fire while moving. And then these guys are convenient to Alright, um. Yeah. We will address this when we come back.